Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve this problem you might encounter now and then. It's when this, uh, your drawing number expands beyond your, your bubble here, in this case my, my title. I'll show you on my section mark block how I solved it, I just haven't done it to my titles yet. So I figured it was a good excuse to make a video and, and show you my solution to this problem. So I have a little scale built into this, where I can shrink it down. In fact, I think I want to add a scale between 75% and 50%. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to uh, this block. I'm going to show you how exactly how I did that to my section mark block. So I'm going to go in there into the block editor. I'm going to add a linear parameter. I'm going to use the none object snap override because I want to get this as close to the center of, of this as I possibly can. Actually, I changed my mind. I want to I wanna have it centered on this bubble, too. So I want to make this parameter exactly one unit long. It doesn't matter which units you're using. Just make it one unit. Now I'm going to move this down and stick it right about there. Because when this scales, I want it to scale from, from this point right here. So you probably guessed our next step. I'm going to add a scale to this parameter. Just first, I don't, I don't need to show the properties for it. So I'll go to note. So that'll just stop this from showing up when you're actually in your drawing outside of the block editor. This distance 2 won't show up in your properties window when you when you select this block. So don't be confused by this. This is just a visibility parameter for my, my drawing scale. I'll just leave that right there. I just re I reminded myself since I have a visibility parameter in this, I gotta show for all states. I want this to show up in every visibility state. You notice that it disappeared when I was moving, moving the scale. Okay. I'm gonna add a scale action to the parameter we just created, and I'm gonna select this guy right here. So you won't see this in your drawing, but you will see what I'm going to add next. I'm going to add a lookup table. So you can go to parameters, add a lookup parameter, go to actions, apply a lookup action to it, but there's no reason just not to skip right ahead to the parameter sets and, and go, go that route. So lookup, I'm going to name this uh, drawing text scale. So it's not confused with my drawing scale here. Okay, let's display lookup table. Add properties. That distance one is that. I just gotta double check. No, it's distance two. Good thing I looked at that. Okay, display lookup table. Add properties. Distance two. So if it's one unit. 100% scale. So now you can see why I was uh, adamant about making making that parameter exactly one unit long because now you don't have to do math in here. 0.75 would be 75% scale. <clears throat> so 0.66667 let's say 66.7% scale. I think I had a 50% scale in that other one. I, I don't think I want that any smaller than this. This would be only in dire situations to have the, the text that small, but it's better than it sticking out past your circle. Okay, so I think we're done with that. So I'm just going to close the block editor, save this. And one thing I forgot to do, and I always forget to do this, grab this guy right here. If you have a vis visibility parameter, object visibility, show for all states. Now hopefully that shows up, and it does.
Okay, now while I have time, I'm just going to do that to this block. I'm going to add a... I'll show you how easy it is to add things, lines to your um, lookup tables. Actually, I got to turn this one to a. No, put fifty percent down here. So once you have a, a lookup table, if you have to change it or add something to it, it doesn't take that long. I think. Yeah, there is an option to move up, so I could have done that instead of overwriting the row. You can delete row, insert rows. Yeah, so once you have this lookup table built, it's it's quite easy to edit. It's one advantage of lookup tables. Another advantage comp compared to a block properties table is you can have multiple lookup tables in one block. That's actually the secret to having multiple visibility parameters in one block or a workaround for the limitation of only being able to have one visibility parameter. Anyhow, that's all I want to show you in this tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, definitely check out the other videos on my channel. Thanks a lot for watching.